Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal with the Copper Cauldron Company. And today we are gonna be learning how to make this really cool peekaboo honeycomb tumbler. What you'll need for this project is a tumbler, two part food safe epoxy resin, gloves, mixing cups and sticks, and then parchment paper. You'll need your glitter mix, and then stencil vinyl, flat white spray paint, alcohol and alcohol ink. I use honeycomb color, some water slide paper and acrylic spray paint, and then a heat gun. So we're gonna start by mixing our epoxy resin. I try to mix it pretty slow just to keep the bubbles out. Um, we're not as concerned with that now because we're glittering it. So I cover the cup with the epoxy resin and then I go through and just put a, a nice layer of glitter. Get some good coverage on it. Make sure to get the bottom and then just let it turn. And it normally takes about 10 hours for it to fully cure. Uh, with the epoxy, you notice it's kind of flat. None of the glitter's really sticking up, which will be great. So we don't have to put an extra layer on before we start adding decals. So now I have made some honeycomb decals and uh, the first layer of the cup is pretty smooth. So they just kind of adhere right to all the glitter. And I just go through and really kind of randomly place them all over the cup, just kind of wherever I feel like there needs to be glitter. Um, just remember that everywhere that there is not a decal is going to be painted over. So I like to give it as much kind of exposure as I possibly can. So that way I can get a lot of that little glitter peekaboo effect going on and it really just makes for a beautiful tumbler. All right, next up, we are gonna spray paint the flat white over top of the stencil. And then after we have painted it all over, we are just going to get our alcohol ink, which like I said, I use the honeycomb color. Kind so of just drip it all over, I paint it. It doesn't have to be really even, we want it to be kind of patchy here and there. And just kind of spray some alcohol now and then to kind of get it to move around, thin it out helps change the color a little bit. And I just kind of play with it until I get the effect that I want. And then once I've gotten a good layer of the alcohol ink into the paint, got a good, you know, honeycomb color going on, I'll spray a little bit of the alcohol over at the end just to give it that kind of bubbly, fun, honey look. Once it's dry, I'll go through and peel out all the little honeycomb pieces. So all of that stencil vinyl, which you definitely need to use because it does not leave any pieces behind. So now I have Peeled all of the pieces out and I'm going to go cover this with some resin just to protect that paint, protect all that alcohol ink. It's going to sit for another 10 hours on the spinner. At this point we'll heat gun it just to make sure there are no bubbles in it. It pops all the little bubbles. We'll just let it spin overnight. So now what we're gonna do is make our water slide decals. We use water slide paper, and then we print some bumblebees. Make sure you do it on the photo paper setting in your best quality. Uh, we'll print them out, and uh, after they've dried, make sure you print them on the shiny side of the water slide paper. We're then going to grab our clear coat, it's an acrylic coating, and spray and turn them into decals. And then after we've gotten them sprayed, they're all dry, we can cut them out. You kind of cut close to the bee, but not necessarily needing to be up against it. This is a clear decal. 
And then after we've got them all cut out, we will go ahead and kind of get our cup wet, throw the decal into the water, kind of just let it sit for like 30 seconds or so, and then push it onto your cup. You just kind of continue, throw some bees on there, everywhere you want. Now this cup is a custom order and they wanted some vinyl lettering on the side. So I didn't put as many bees as I probably normally would have. And actually I took some of these bees off of the cup after it's all said and done just because I don't want to make it too busy. Busy bee, get it. Anyway, so yeah, just go ahead and use your water slide paper, get all those bees on wherever you like them. Once you've got your vinyl on, you can go ahead and throw that cup on the tumbler, mix up some epoxy, and you can let it set overnight on the turner. Um, make sure that you hit it with that heat gun just to make sure that there are no bubbles in it. And after it's sat overnight, you have got yourself a bumblebee honeycomb glitter tumbler that you've made yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. There will be a lot more like this. And if you're interested in seeing some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications so you know whenever I'll be putting out a new video. And thank you so much for watching The Copper Cauldron. Have a wonderful day.